So I wanted to ask, uh, what is it that you're out here advocating for or against? Yeah, so we're here, um, my name's Ethan Miller with If Not Now, a movement of young American Jews dedicated to ending our own community support for the occupation. We're out here today as so many of our community so-called leaders are in Jerusalem celebrating the move of the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, a move that we know only serves to further entrench the occupation and make the daily nightmare experienced by so many Palestinians that much worse. Now, do you mean occupation in, in that particular region? Do you want there not to be an Israeli state, or? So we mean, when we talk about the occupation, we mean the, the daily nightmares uh, and the Israeli military, political, and economic control over Palestinians living in Gaza, the West Bank, and East Jerusalem. Okay. Um, and we know that that, that uh, reality is a, it's a nightmare for Palestinians living in it, um, and it's a moral disaster for the people who uphold and support it. Right. I'm trying to understand, now, why would moving an embassy to Jerusalem be something that uh, you have to get against, or what, what, what problems would that cause? So Jerusalem is a city that's deep deeply scarred by the occupation. It's a city that's deeply divided, one where 370,000 Palestinians lack the basic rights that, they, that their Israeli neighbors have. Um, so moving the embassy from Tel Aviv, where most other international embassies are, to Jerusalem is a stamp of approval on Netanyahu's policies of endless occupation. Now, when we talk about like uh, human rights, right, the Palestinians uh, do a lot of uh, uh, criticism of Israelis and violation of human rights, they'll say, right? Like, I think 12 Palestinians just died the other day. Um, yeah. And so, uh, in that occupation, that kind of war, uh, what about this? Do you find criticism against a Palestinian and their accord in human rights and their treatment for acts like uh, gay people or women, for example? So, we're, we're a movement of, of young American Jews calling on our own community, our American Jewish community, to change the way that we support and uphold the occupation. Um, so that's what we're here for, is to make sure that our own community um, listens to us, the next generation of American Jews, and really upholds our own community's values of, um, of justice and of uh, the equal treatment of all people. Right, yeah, absolutely. But I think, don't you find that um, in the creation of a Palestinian state, right? I mean, people should have the right to secede and, and create their own community. Uh, do you find that, though, could be also problematic, though, for like their ill accord or human rights treatment towards uh, gay people, for example? There was a guy who was murdered under the Palestinian Authority a few years ago um, just because he was gay, right? And they have a bad ill treatment of a woman in an Islamic region, right? Versus like an Israeli state, there's not really that much that I know of uh, ill treatment. And we can talk about, human rights are important for everyone. Yeah. Um, right now we're here talking about the treatment of Palestinians. Right now, as we speak, actually, Israeli soldiers are firing live ammunition at protesters in Gaza, and already more than 20 have been killed this morning alone. Would you advocate um, ending the uh, $38 billion then, the USA that goes to Israel? We can talk about the specifics of it yeah. right now. Our focus really is actually about how our own community but that um, affects, and our own that institutions, affects, everything supports it. There's a lot of, I mean, right. there's a political system that supports the occupation. Um, we, our focus is, is pretty contained on what our own communities and institutions can do to end their support for the occupation and support freedom and dignity for all. Um, and obviously there's a lot, mo you know, the issue is a lot bigger than that, but we're really looking at our own community and how we can actually affect change within our own community. Right, but wouldn't ending the $30 billion that goes to Israel help end the occupation? Because that goes through a lot of the military. Uh... Yeah, there's certain, it's yeah. certainly a big issue, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, so, so we'll be done with ending the, the $38 billion aid that goes to Israel. Yeah, I have to look okay. at exactly how that aid works. Right, 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 yeah, right. I'm not prepared to right, right. make a statement. Now, if um, the occupation ended then, and Palestine has their own state, uh, would you not, next step, would be concerned about their human rights treatments towards gay people and women in general? Um, you know, I think we have to look at what's happening right here and now, um, and then we should obviously be continuing discussions about human rights in the future. Right, um, yeah, because I would find like to be prob problematic after this, right? We have created a Palestinian state and now like, you know... Yeah, I mean, I think you're, you're clearly pushing a line um, right now, so, I mean, I've told you a little bit about what, you were, what we're doing. Yeah, yeah here, so. I think the... Yeah. Uh, I think it's that you guys are advocating for uh, the end of that occupation. I think yeah. that's really good to see. It's really good to see a lot of people coming out here for, for that. I don't yeah. really see much of that. Yeah. <laughs> right? And there are Palestinian-led movements for, for human rights within their own communities as well. Um, but we're sort of have our, our focus right now. So, All right. Yeah. Thank, thank you so you. much for uh, talking with me. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. It. Can I ask what the, the sign means? Um, it's announcing the Embassy of Freedom. Embassy of Freedom, cool. And uh, can I what you're advocating for? Freedom from who? Actually, uh, you should probably talk to uh, I've talked to uh, three of them already. Okay. Yeah. So great.
Can you talk? Can you? Can, can you? No, you can't say anything. What you're advocating for? That's fine. That's fine. Just peace and justice for all Israelis and Palestinians. Do you think? Um, no, I think it's cool. Ending the occupation, right? Ending that war, I think it's good. Um, I think like 18 Palestinians just died yesterday, right? I think that's kind of tragic. So I think it's great that there's a Jewish community coming out of here trying to call for that end of occupation. Um, now, would this also extend to like uh, Palestinian freedom for their own people? Because they also they also they always criticize the Israel and their human rights accord, right? But what about the human rights accord of uh, Israel, uh, Palestine, Palestine themselves? I mean, like their ill treatment for like talk to media gay people sorry, or something sorry, like that. Sorry. I'm talking to people here, right? Yeah. You, you can't you talk for yourself. To, uh, I've talked to several people. Yeah, I'd like to talk to some stuff. other people. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we just, that's how we run our action. So that's, that's you guys can't talk at all. It's not negotiable. You can talk to people. But well, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. I, I've heard you, I've heard what you just said to me already. And you're saying I can't talk to people? I already said what I said. You already said what you said. All right. I said that you can talk to... That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I've heard that. Somebody told me that already. So you have to respect that because this is our action. Well, you're out here. This is public. This is free speech. I could ask people to inquire. Not everybody's with your group, right? There's people standing around. There's a lot of people who are curious, right? So... Do you want to go around and see who's with or with not with you? So that was interesting, to say the least. It was a hashtag Embassy of Freedom rally against the Israeli violence on Gaza, which was predominantly made up by Jews. Jews against Trump moving the embassy to Jerusalem, right? And saying that the reason why they're against it is it will cause a lot more contention, a lot more violence will be escalated, which, you know, calls into question. I thought Islam is a religion of peace. Why would it do so? Uh, and of course, you had a lot of the fury of protesters going against the wall the past couple of days, especially on the day of. And so, of course, the media likes to spin it that Israeli is uh, aggressively using, you know, chemical weapons, tear gas, um, but making it seem like it's a very uh, a grievous issue. Some Palestinians have died, but you also have to remember that uh, a lot of these are being uh, thrown in there and funded and supported by terrorist organizations uh, like Hamas again, right? So when you have uh, uh, invested interest to push these protesters out there to attack and kill as many Israelis uh, to use human shields like women and children like time and time again uh, you know it's the interesting criticism still kind of lies on Israel and not on the Palestinians themselves uh, so a lot of these Israelis when I well being I mean, uh, Jews when I talk to them about why is it that they don't have the same kind of criticism towards the Palestinians themselves you know they didn't really particularly want to say much of that uh, on that. And so, because the thing is, I don't want a Palestinian state, right? I'm not an advocate of states. I think all states are legitimate, right? Even the question of the creation of the Israeli state does call, call in a particular, a lot more question in terms of like 7 to 10% of Lizardishi landship ownership and then the expulsion of uh, Arabs. Not all of them, because there's some over a million that still live in, in, uh, in Israel. So it's not an ethnic cleansing, to say the least. But when you look at uh, the creation of a state, uh, particularly one of an Islamic state and their ill negative accord that they have towards uh, gay people, uh, I think it's something to also take into consideration. It's not a pro-Western civilization of uh, the values that we kind of exhibit here. Uh, the ill treatment of women there, of course, you know, there'd be another uh, horrible Islamic state that would arise from that. Uh, they already killed somebody. You know, capital punishment is uh, was, was due to anyone who's gay in those particular regions. They killed somebody in Palestine recently by the name of Mahmoud Estiwi. So, uh, yeah, I think it's interesting how they're very quick to criticize uh, Israel, but not the other side as well. So, because the thing is, if uh, Israel really wanted to, they could wipe out Palestine off the, off the map, right? You know, they have all the weapon and artillery, and in the same way that they ended a six-day war rather quickly, um, you know, if they wanted to. You know, one, one uh, crazy suicide bomber in a cafe's restaurants, uh, the, re the retaliatory response would be to wipe off Palestine. Um, but you find that um, that's not the case, right? They're very good at kind of holding themselves back. They do a lot of warnings before they go in and engage and, uh, and respond back. But a lot of people don't kind of look at that focus. The media does a good job and showing negative propaganda against Israel, not showing, you know, the blight in the situation that, uh, terrorist-run states uh, are. I mean, all states are terroristic in their nature, but this one, in the scope of terrorism, it's you know by far quite large. So uh, that was interesting. 
uh, it was a, a way of some weird uh, Kafka's moment where they can't even talk about what it is that they're advocating for. There's a, you know, a silent treatment towards anyone else who asks these questions. You have to talk to someone particularly uh, who is responsible for that kind of communication liaison. But you know, if you're carrying these signs, it will behoove you to actually know what it is you're protesting for or be allowed to speak your mind, right? Instead of being you know, shut down quickly by some of these other event coordinators. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, it's interesting to see where this uh, escalation will lead to. And if you guys enjoy this video, like, subscribe, and stay liberated.